Never take a polygraph examination. Did you know that polygraph examinations are so unreliable that the military rules of evidence will not even allow the mention of the name polygraph into evidence? Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, self, if they can't even be used at a criminal trial, why would they even be offered at all? And the answer is, it's a trick, an investigative tactic to get evidence to use against you later. Don't take them. CID, OSI, NCIS, these investigative agencies in the military, they will often offer military service members a polygraph examination as a way to exonerate themselves. This is how it's gonna go down. There's a lot more to this, but I'm gonna break it down Barney style right now. Step one, they're gonna interview you again about the application. And they're gonna tell you some things don't add up, but this is your opportunity to clarify and to show your command that you're being truthful. Step two, they're gonna tell you all about how the polygraph examination works, and they're gonna make it look like they're being very transparent with the science and with how it works. Step three, they do the test. Step four, they examine the test results. Step five, they tell you that the test results show you're being deceitful or you're not telling the whole truth. They're calling you a liar. By the way, there's no way you're gonna to get to step five and they come back in the room and they say, you're being truthful, you're free to go. There's no way that's happening. Step six, they confront you about the results in your answers until you make admissions that they wanted you to make before you even came in the room that day. Now you might think, oh, well, I would never do that. I would never admit to something that I didn't do. Trust me, after five to eight hours of a guy constantly telling you, it's okay, everyone's gonna understand. If you just admit from her perspective, it is what it looks like it is, you're gonna be okay. Well then you might actually make some equivocation or make some admission, or maybe you feel bad for hurting her feelings. So you make an apology, but it comes off as an admission. They lie to you. They lie about the test. They lie about the results. They lie about the questions. They lie that your command is going to understand. Now, I know I said polygraph examinations cannot be used in a court-martial per the rules of evidence, and I was correct. However, the interview with a polygraph examiner before the poly and the interview after the poly can be used against you. Fun fact, even if the polygraph exam shows that you're telling the truth, which it won't, guess what? It still can't be used for you at trial. It's because of another rule of evidence that I can talk about at another time. Polygraph examinations are junk science and they do not work. So again, 